Mindful parenting is a thoughtful approach to raising children that emphasizes the importance of being present and, and engaged in the moment. It encourages parents to respond to their children's needs with empathy, patience, and understanding, rather than reacting impulsively or out of frustration. This method fosters a nurturing environment where children feel heard and valued, promoting emotional intelligence and strong parent-child relationships. By practicing mindfulness, parents can better manage stress, model positive behaviors, and create a calm, supportive environment and atmosphere that enhances their children's overall well-being and development. Mindful parenting is not about being perfect, but about making intentional choices that support a healthy and loving family dynamic. So what's the goal of mindful parenting? The goal of mindful parenting is to provide a pause between emotions and response. Parents learn to stop their immediate emotional reaction to challenging situations and instead choose a thoughtful, intentional response. Thus, they can avoid power struggles and other emotional battles with their kids. It's important to note that mindful parenting is not about eliminating, eliminating your parental emotions or never becoming upset. Instead, Mindful parenting focuses on noticing your feelings and initial reactions before using mindfulness concepts to pause, redirect, and reset. This allows you to choose your response in stressful situations. So how can mindful parenting help? Mindful parenting helps kids regulate their emotions and behaviors. One study found mindful parenting encourages positive parenting, reducing childhood behavioral problems. Children are less likely to exhibit negative behaviors, such as acting out or withdrawing when parents set clear rules and enforce them consistently. And they openly show love and affection and devote time and attention to their kids. With its emphasis on awareness, non-judgment, and presence, mindful parenting fosters positive communication between family members. Parents and kids learn to recognize and express feelings calmly and openly knowing they will be heard and respected, even if they don't always get their way. Mindful parenting also helps kids grow and develop into healthy, well-functioning adults. When parents model skills such as staying focused on the present moment, awareness of feelings and thoughts, pausing before reacting impulsively to stressors, and expressing gratitude for what is right, kids emulate mindfulness as a perspective and a way of life. Similarly, mindful parenting models a healthy attitude towards mistakes and imperfections. Kids learn it's okay to make mistakes when parents are empathic and encourage a trial and error approach to creative problem solving. Parents who forgive kids for their mistakes show them that they are loved unconditionally, a feeling necessary for developing a strong, realistic, healthy self-concept. What are the benefits of mindful parenting? Some of the benefits of mindful parenting are fewer conflicts and stronger connections, increasing childhood adjustments, reducing problematic behaviors, improving communication, decreasing feelings of anxiety and stress, and increasing connection to parenting goals. So here are 10 ways to practice mindful parenting. Practice patience. To begin, take some time to reflect on what you truly want or how you want to feel. Set intentions. First thing in the morning, reflect on how you want your day to go with your child, and then phrase your intention positively and in the present tense as if it's already happening. For example, instead of saying, I want to be less stressed when I am parenting my child, you might say, I am calm and centered when I interact with my child. Write your intention down and keep it somewhere visible to remind yourself daily. Finally, integrate your intention into your daily routine through meditation, visualization, or simply by repeating it to yourself. By consistently focusing on your intention, you align your thoughts and actions with your desired outcome, increasing the likelihood of manifesting it into reality. Model mindfulness. Children learn by example. Show them how to be present by practicing mindfulness yourself, such as through meditation or mindful breathing. Create routines. Establishing 
routines can provide a sense of security and predictability, helping children feel more grounded. Limit distractions. Reduce the use of ele electronic devices during family time to ensure their interactions are meaningful and undistracted. Active listening. To listen actively, start by maintaining eye contact with the speaker to show that you are engaged. Avoid distractions such as checking your phone or thinking about what you're going to say next. Show that you are listening by nodding, using facial expressions, and providing verbal acknowledgement like I see or I understand. Reflect on what the speaker is saying by paraphrasing, paraphrasing or summarizing their points and ask open-ended questions to encourage them to elaborate. Finally, respond thoughtfully, taking into account the speaker's perspective and feelings. By practicing these techniques, you can improve your communication skills and build stronger, more empathetic relationships. Pay full attention to your child when they speak. This not only shows respect, but also helps in understanding their needs and feelings better. Validate their feelings. Acknowledge and validate your child's emotions, showing them that their feelings are important and understood. Encourage open communication. Foster an environment where your child feels comfortable expressing their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment. Practice gratitude. Teach your child to appreciate the small things in life by regularly expressing gratitude and encouraging them to do the same. And be compassionate. Show compassion, not only to your child, but also to yourself. Parenting is challenging, and it's important to be kind to yourself during these tough times. So some examples of mindful parenting. Mindful parenting is an attitude and approach to being with your children. It isn't reserved for certain age groups. It's neither too sophisticated for young children, nor too simplistic for teens. Here's a look at some mindful parenting examples for different age groups. Mindful parenting with infants means tuning into your baby's needs and being fully responsive and attentive during interactions. Parents avoid multitasking during feeding or diaper changing. For example, and instead focus on time with their infant, engaging in skin-to-skin -skin contact, maintaining eye contact, observing the way their baby moves and how parent and baby respond to each other, and talking directly to them in a calm, quiet, and loving voice. Mindful parenting with young children. Toddlers and preschoolers feel and act on intense emotions because they don't fully understand their feelings. They don't have words or concepts to grasp why they feel why, how they do. Also, young children haven't yet developed the ability to pause between thinking and acting on a thought. Mindful parenting helps young kids learn to identify their emotions and shift their attention from what's upsetting them to something different in the moment. When a young child has a tantrum because she can't have her way, their parent doesn't scold or admonish them, but instead accepts their reacting in a developmentally appropriate way. Then the parent can help the child name their emotion, be present with them, and shift their attention to something pleasing. Mindful parenting with school-age kids. Mindful parenting can help kids age 8 to 12 better deal with their increasingly overwhelming life situations as they juggle more responsibilities at home and school with activities and new, more complex relationships. With its emphasis on openness, curiosity, and creative problem solving, mindful parenting can provide kids with a healthy balance between parental support and space to independently develop solutions to their own difficulties. When a child feel, has friendship squabbles, mindful parents do not try to avoid the issues, jump in to solve the problems, or talk kids out of the strong feelings they're having. If a child fights with their best friend and cries, I hate them, I never want to see them again. Mindful parents don't say, you don't really mean that, you like them. Instead, parents remain calm, clarify their child's feelings, and remain present as they work through possible solutions. Mindful parenting with teens. Middle and high school kids often gravitate away from their parents and toward their peers. Mindful parenting means accepting the shift and allowing it to happen while remaining a positive presence. Middle and high school kids often, <clears throat> um, 
listen to their peers and spend time with them. So when you have time, set aside time to be fully present with your team and listen to them attentively and non-judgmentally. Mindful parenting with adolescents also involves being aware of your emotions. So you can pause and respond thoughtfully without reacting negatively to their stories or whims. This helps teens feel validated and heard. Consequently, they're more likely to open up and come to you when they need help problem solving. Is mindful parenting effective? Studies into mindful parenting indicate that this approach effectively enhances family peace and emotional well-being of parents and children of all ages. One study found that caregivers using mindful parenting showed fewer negative feelings and were less likely to react during conflict than those who did not use a similar approach. Consequently, these teens were less likely to report engaging in risky behaviors. Additional research found that mindful parenting reduces dysfunctional discipline myth, dysfunctional parenting techniques, such as yelling, criticizing, and using harsh or inconsistent discipline methods. It also improves child's behavior, boosts the parent-child relationship, and enhances childhood social behaviors and relationships. Mindful parenting programs based on mindfulness-based stress reduction and mindfulness-based cognitive therapy offer mindful parenting training for those experiencing mental health challenges such as heightened stress, anxiety, or postpartum depression. In 2017, researchers studied one such program reporting these techniques can increase the ability to engage in conscious parenting cope with parental stress, and improve parent-child relationships. Mindful parenting is different from other parenting styles by its very nature. It offers a way of being with children rather than rules or procedures for doing them. This approach doesn't exist entirely apart from other parenting styles. Instead, the concepts can be incorporated into any style, emphasizing warmth and affection, positive reinforcement rather than punishment, and clear rules with consistent and logical consequences. Parents can use mindful parenting regardless of their unique approach to helping their family function smoothly and health healthily. Mindful parenting differs from negative parenting styles because it rejects yelling, punishment, criticism, and harsh restrictions and reactions. Mindful parenting is not perfect, but no perfect style exists. When mindful parents react negatively without pausing to consider a compassionate response, they simply notice, acknowledge, accept their fault, and redirect their attention and emotions to a calm presence. In mindful parenting, all family members learn to pause and respond rather than react emotionally to stressful situations, thoughts, and feelings. The result is calm, compassion, acceptance, and positive problem solving that carries kids through childhood, adolescence, and adulthood.